Welcome to Lee Judges TV. We haven't done this for a while, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad we did today. I don't know whose decision it was, but <laughs> Arsenal 3, Liverpool 1. Yeah. We have stuffed the Scousers, Dan. Right. We have given them a good little slap in. Listen, they've been beaten properly. We've properly beaten them. Yeah. They've lost twice in North London, but we've done a proper job on them today. Listen, big time we did. And I don't think that anybody at half-time can sit there and say they deserved that goal. You know, we had to kick it in the back of the net for them to actually give them any glimmer of hope. I don't think they really did much today. Liverpool, I think, will be really disappointed with their performance. But I don't think we will, mate. And I must say, the team selection was spot on for me today. Because when you look at Jesus being out, you always wonder whether Eddie's going to play, Trossard's going to play, Averts is going to play. And I think he put himself around. But for me, Jorginho starting was absolute key, mate. Oh, uh, Jorginho out of daylight. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to say this. So come, come on you, Julian, because I you know you like your fitness stuff and all that. Like, you know, I'm but very like, uh, very fit. But Jorginho hasn't played hardly at all, and he played in a 90 minutes intensive game like that. And I thought he was superb today. Yeah, but then the way he plays, because he plays with intelligence, he doesn't necessarily need speed. And there was one point where he was on the uh, the right wing in loads of space. And if you saw that, yeah, yeah. and if it had been Saka still on the pitch, you'd have just driven into space. And the the thing that I love about him, which I can relate to, is he understands his weaknesses yeah. and he plays to his strengths. And his strength isn't speed, it's intelligence and understanding the game. And today, he just played the game exactly how it needed to be played. Yeah, I, I thought he was superb really today. Like, I've got to say this now. Um, how was we all feeling at half time after I conceded that goal? I'd be pressed. All, like, I'm just going to. One fella said to me, I'm glad like, that the players didn't have the mentality of the fans because I think at half time. It's a great line, isn't it? Yeah. After, I'm going to use that one. Uh, no, I'm going to use that line. I've just used it, Julian, right? Like, yeah, but like, it is a great line because I felt at half time we were deflated. I even felt in the first five, ten minutes the players on the field would deflate, but yeah. something happened when we got ourselves back down. But like, mental attitude, I think that this team has definitely improved. I thought today, from minute one to the end, I thought we were the better side. And I think that was what mattered. Going into half-time, you can understand, look, I know you're talking about the mentality of the fans, it's all down. You know why it is, though? Because you just know, you come in the second half and you think, we've been all over them, this could be a completely different second half now, and Liverpool can come out, and they feel they've got a chance. And we didn't allow that, and I thought that was really, really interesting. Listen, we made a bad mistake, but so did they, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's we'll get bad, on to that in a minute. Well, yeah. That's two bad mistakes, yeah, that they've actually made today from a world-class goalkeeper, I think, top quality. But when you look at it, I think Arsenal's performance today, I don't think be allowed to give him a sniff and I think Jorginho you know going back to his performance that for me is how you get control and balance I don't want to be seeing this mucking around with midfield now that's the best midfield we've had against Man City and Liverpool it's worked and I understand that it's different tactics and different philosophies against the lesser teams let's say but we've proven that Jorginho in there is the man for that right now and when party is out, he's the guy we've got to put in there because Declan Rice today complimented Jorginho and Jorginho complimented Declan Rice. And, of course, Martin Erdegaard was given that space. So that trail in midfield, it looked really good today, Lee. We dominated it. And I have to say that I thought we dominated the midfield lot. I'm going to just say a little bit, I had a little bit of a, not a, not a criticism of Udegaard on, on the cheese. I felt his uh, you know, final pass that weren't today. But f for me today... I'm going to have to say it now. I, I was watching it. I thought that was a, a, lead, a captain's uh, chis, lads. <laughs> like, you know, that was a, a security. I don't know where is security like. Yeah, you know, where, where, um, he, he, um, work rate today and leadership qualities today. I thought were exact. I thought he was absolutely brilliant. His, today. his br work rate of him, Dan, was unreal today. Yeah, but the whole team had that work rate. But he starts from him. He inspires that. Yes, because he's the captain yeah. and he does this thing sort of geeing up the crowd, which is good, but he also G's up, more importantly, the team. And he does, I'll tell you what he does, he controls the press. I think what they do, they look to him yeah. for, for when to go and when to stay. So he's not only there to motivate, but he's there to organise. And he does an absolute captain's job. I, I, I have to say that, and I also say, you know, like sometimes in games, in those top games, it's hard to create, hard to do that. But what you can't, what you can do is give it under a cent, work hard and all that. I thought he was sensational there today. I'll tell you another player I thought was brilliant today. Come off a little bit too early for my liking, if I'll be really honest. If I'll be really honest, Gabriel Martinelli was sensational today. He's frightened the living daylights out of Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, I, I was in love with one Brazilian, and I think <laughs> this love affair with this particular Brazilian will hopefully will last. last will last longer than the other one. And I'm not talking about Danielson. <laughs> 
think, last seen at Salima Wanderers in the Maltese League, although the... That's good knowledge. I mean, well, I'm very yeah. impressed with that yeah. knowledge. I'm I don't for... quite know where the ex-wife is, though. <laughs> <laughs> so what about Martin Elliott today? I thought, come on, what? Listen, uh, unbelievable. Outstanding. And he's the one that I wanted to play well today, Lee. Listen, I know Saka has had some bad form, but I'm looking at Martin Elliott's performance, and he was the one that I looked at. I love Trent Alexander-Arnold. I think he's an unbelievable footballer. But he can get caught in behind. And I thought Martin Elliott was roasting players today. And even when Kenyatta come on, that's why Kenyatta got sent off, because yeah. he was getting frustrated. Yeah. You know, Martinelli, he was doing him. And listen, I, I, I thought today, you know, I always thought Joe Gomez, when he got a yellow card, I thought that could be the one that could get sent off. And then Kenyatta, for me, was the one that actually lost his head in the end. So, listen, Martinelli's fantastic, and I've always bigged him up. And I think that this season, he's really, really disappointed in a for, for certain few games. Last couple, though, mate, he's turned it on, particularly the Emirates. And yeah. I've been impressed by him, man. Yeah, he, he, he turned it on the day. And another thing, I, you know, I know that they made the mistake, and it was a, a, an absolute horrendous error like you know it was laughable but just like our one really if I'll be honest but I do think because it's Martinelli mm. that they panicked a little bit like you know I mean I, I, I think because of his pace and, and everything like that but listen 1-0 one 1-0 one I thought we was brilliant in the first half missed a few chances and then I think Klopp will be sitting on the le on the line going do you know what I'll take 1-0 mm. at half time here because we're getting we're getting pumped I'll take a 1 0. All of a sudden, it's 1 1 after. Uh, who are we blaming for that? Who are we blaming? I'm gonna, come on, let's have the blame uh, game here. Who are we blaming? For me. Saliba or Raya? Saliba. Mm. Yeah, I have to agree. Look, I, I agree as well. I watched it I watched it, and I did look at the goalkeeper, and maybe that's me looking at him because I love Saliba. But I must say, looking at it again, Saliba's got to just get. Listen, he's waiting for Raya. Get it out. If in doubt, get it out. That's basic Sunday League stuff. If in doubt, get it out. Don't wait for the goalkeeper because he's going to have you, mate. And that's what happened. And I mean, Gabriel does his best to try and hand, flick it in with his hands. But at the end, but listen, it doesn't matter now, does it? And that's the good nah, thing. Yeah. And it could have. That's the problem. It could have. And that's what I think everyone was worried about half time, Lee. Everyone at half time, Lee, were going to me, oh, no, this is going to be a different second half. We've let them back into the game. There should be 1 0. They don't deserve it. Doesn't matter. Second half performance was there. And that's what mattered to Arsenal. It actually looked like that for the first sort of 10 minutes of the second half is that the team believed it because Liverpool came out as you'd expect Liverpool to come out after playing so badly in the first half and looked apart and I, and I thought that they'd go on to win the game at that point. I, I did. I, I, honestly, I was looking down at Klopp and his assistant at one stage of that game there and I don't think they could work out how, how we was playing because it was quick movement. The first goal, by the way, to get we, we built that up from the back. It was moved through midfield very, very quickly and Jorginho was a part of that. And then, you know, Havertz got in and what, what happened, which was the greatest thing, is right, Havertz missed a chance but Saka yeah. was backing it up and like finished it. I'm going to say this now, Kai Havertz gets a lot of stick, you know what I mean? And probably like deservedly so at the day. But I, I thought he was absolutely superb up there today. Work rate, uh, getting stuck in, put his body on the line. I tell you what, uh, Van Dijk, very, very fortunate he didn't get sent off at the end because he did, he did hit him in the head there. Like, yeah, but you know, uh, but I, I thought he, he led the line really, really well today. Yeah, um, I've been impressed by Kai Havertz. I don't agree. Well, every game? Most games, but... The criticism that he gets, I think, is unfair. And the reason being is because of his, the price that they've paid for him. I think if you've paid £30 million for him, he wouldn't get that kind of criticism. I think people have this expectancy, which in some ways they should do, and it's understandable, that when you get £65 million spent, you, you should get a world-class player from game one. And that's not who he is. He's not a Messi. He's not a Ronaldo. He's Kai Havertz, who's a very good Premiership player. I, but, he, but maybe 65 million was too much. I, to spend I, on I, him. I probably agree with you. It was too much to spend on. But I tell you, the one thing that he has got is versatility, Dan, and that's what he's done today because he can play in midfield. But today he's gone up front. I don't think we win that game uh, with Eddie up front, and that's no disrespect no, no. to Eddie, like you know no, what I mean. Not at all. Not at all. Let, let, let's look at two things. We've talked about Jorginho and we're talking about Kai Havertz today, right? Jorginho's come into the midfield, we look better. Kai Havertz is nowhere near the midfield, we look better. I don't want to see him go back in midfield now, Lee. You know, no. I know you've said before, uh, I don't think he does all right there. I think you said he does okay there. For me, he is definitely not a midfielder. And everything that I have seen from Kai Havertz, and it hasn't been much in terms of him being amazing, right? In terms of positives that we've seen in an Arsenal shirt, he's come up top. Yeah, in the Community Shield game today, yeah, we're talking yeah. about him. We're talking about him. Last minute goals at Brentford, goals against Luton, goals against Brighton. None of them were from midfield. It was never smashing it in from 30 yards. It was never taking it round five players, dribbling it in. It was all causing a nuisance and a havoc of himself. And that's what he's done today. And I don't want to be seeing now him dropping back into that midfield. Jorginho's there to give us control and balance. It did that today. It allows Declan Rice to push forward, and Kai Havertz can go and cause a nuisance. And when Jesus does come back and he wants to play Jesus, Kai Havertz can come on for 25 minutes and cause a nuisance from the bench. And that's what I want to see, mate. Yeah. I 
I agree, I agree there. Like, just two final things. Just the last, uh, I'm going to talk about today. I thought the atmosphere in the Emirates today was outstanding. Yeah. It was right up there, like you know. So big up to the Arsenal uh, yeah, crowd I'd today. Say I especially liked it at the end. Voulez vu. It was a bit like being back at Pop World. <laughs> yes, yes, it was very good. Like you know, I, mean, I know, like you know, I mean, but, uh, oh, yeah, but uh, it was like, a very good, like very good. We love, well, we, we, we love Pop World, like you know, but, especially when they're singing those sort of songs. Yeah. But one, one other thing, I think it's very difficult. But I'm going to ask the question today: Who was your man of the match? I think, like you know. Uh, uh, I'm going to give it to Jorginho, yeah. if I'll be honest. So, like, that's my call today. I thought the way intricate pass and everything there, I think that he gets it for me. What about yourself? It's tough, but I'll have to give it to the love of my life. Mar Martinelli gets it. Like. <laughs> yeah, Martinelli. Martinelli. Mar Martinelli for you. Yeah, listen, Martinelli was superb, but I think when you look at the difference and how key Jorginho was in this team, I've got to give it to Jorginho. And I thought Declan Rice was really good again today, man. But I'll go Jorginho. Yeah, I think we do like, you know. So, listen, thanks for uh, watching today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and do all that business. Like, we're getting out of here now because I'll tell you what, the wind's kicks it's up. It's a little fun. bit cold, like, you know, and, that, and Julian ain't got his hat. Take care. <laughs>